would like to conclude this by yeah. asking you for all the students uh, watching our podcast out there who are aspiring to be uh, structural consultants. Uh, what is that advice that you would like to give them and uh, show shower some light on them, sir? <laughs> Actually, it is very unfortunate. Uh, many students are not opting for civil engineering. That is the biggest challenge for me as a professional also. And even if some students are opting for it, parents are conducting uh, this uh, condolence meetings uh, <laughs> for their uh, children. That's very bad, actually. Uh, I would like to add here, all every human being wants the best comforts and uh, best growth. How do you define comfort and growth? Comfort in living, comfort in working, comfort in travel, and uh, best infrastructure you you want. Who will build these things? It is the civil engineers. But we don't want to be civil engineers. It is just because, okay, they think that we are not paid well. Uh, I ask many students, how much you need to live basically? I know a place in Hyderabad uh, as a, uh, elderly citizen, not as a beginning in the career. It is 6,500 rupees you can live per month. And in the same place, you have a job for 8,000 rupees. I don't mention uh, details. That means you can live comfortably, satisfied in that place with a three square meal a day and a comfortable accommodation. So how much you want to earn? I don't say that aiming to earn is wrong. But I say that aiming to pursue passion should be the first priority. That passion should be to matter to 100% population. Healthcare won't matter to 100% population. There are so many people who never go to hospital. But there are no people who don't live in a house, who don't travel on a road, who don't need a power, who don't need a phone, no internet connection. It is the civil engineer who does all this. And so you must first aim to pursue that passion to make civil engineering better. If the computer science has not innovated, has not come up with all these solutions, machine learning, artificial intelligence, smartphone, smart apps, wouldn't have paid for it. But once we started using that cost has come down. Similarly, civil engineering, if more intelligent people enter into this arena, it will also grow, it will be valued automatically because everybody needs best comfort. So first pursue civil engineering. This is my first mm -hmm. message. Once you pursue civil engineering, my advice to them is civil engineer has to be physically fit because we walk, we go heights we, uh, well during construction. So you have to be healthy, so play sports. And you have to be conscious about your surroundings, read newspaper. And you have to know the practical aspects, attend to labs. These are all the fundamental. And you need to have the knowledge, be attentive in the class. This is for the student. And once you do these four basic things, fundamental requirements of any student in civil engineering, then go for internship. Do you provide any internship? Yeah, we, we do provide uh, internship. I, I have... Uh, developed modules of mass internships also. I trained engineers to how to give internship to students. I've developed the formats. So it will help you to learn, because civil engineer is a practical guy. I must tell you here one example. Thousand people asked me which branch of engineering they have to join. 999, I advised to join civil engineering. One guy, who is my nephew, because his brother is already in civil engineering, elder brother, I advised him to join electronics. He earns good salary, good life, everything, 
but he complains to me you have done injustice to me you have made everyone civil engineer but not me because he says he sees my whatsapp messages every day something in construction i'll be doing some photograph wherever i go in the country i can show a structure designed by me so that is the satisfaction a civil engineer can get in hyderabad drive me in any street i'll show you the building designed by me so that is the satisfaction who else can get other than civil engineer so he works in uh, chip design but he doesn't know what he is doing it's not the money after certain stage that's what it is the satisfaction it is the that uh, uh, complacence i mean yes i have done i have achieved you should be able to see what you are doing physically as a human being a building which we design in 6 months you will see 20 floors that is a big satisfaction that i have designed i contributed to that no other profession will give that kind of satisfaction so pursue civil engineering and be practical this is what actually you should be able to see what you are doing imagine what you have to do and then be able to create that see that happening practically construction supervision so it is only the civil engineer who has who is centric to entire infrastructure actually you have electrical consultant you have a mechanical you have electronics automation you have a planning interiors everything but civil engineering is core actually everything is built around that uh, core of building so you uh, that's very important and you have to learn very well understand all other aspects also so that's how i am i i could learn so many things apart from just structural engineering i could learn everything because i interacted with best of architects best of structural engineers uh, best of uh, electrical engineers so we coordinate all this and uh, we had the opportunity to interact with the best people developers uh, chief ministers uh, so we understand their requirements and draft this dbrs and all so that's how Uh, as a human being you are the happiest man contented man that is very important and i share the knowledge this is another easy to share it's not a rocket science uh, it's not very difficult to explain it only needs us to motivate people to learn that's all then it is easy to learn easy to master so civil engineering uh, that is how is the best and once you do the internships i always say it is only profession where you can keep learning you can keep using your knowledge every second of your consciousness like i am sitting here i keep observing all the interiors that are done and i go for a holiday i see what construction they have done i travel on flight i see the runway i travel on car i see the road sides of the road drainage rivers every part that is visible to us is related to civil engineering and you can keep learning observing so it is a 24 by 7 real learning and implementation of your knowledge beautifully said <laughs> <laughs> how does one apply for internship in your company sir in fact we work through colleges uh, they can approach the head of the department and uh, normally in hyderabad telangana there is no college that that don't know me okay so because i work through task also telangana academy of skill and knowledge i have mou with the task i have mou with many colleges engineering colleges so they can approach or google surya prakash i am available and i never said no to anyone that's great that's i wonderful. planned depending on number of i at one point i gave internship to about 600 students in one summer and all worked and we review all their work and we have the format reporting and i insist on 6 uh, weeks of internship minimum in a given span many meaningful works are done by students other way also actually it's not only my credit it is students who can work quite well so there is advantage to uh, interns employers also uh, while student learns employer also gains 
Yeah. 